Welcome, welcome. It's Dee with Single Mom and Guided Life where we talk about finances, motherhood, being single, and everything in between. So I just wanted to drop in. I really supposed to have done this on Sunday, but I really didn't go out Sunday, so yeah. And so for some crazy reason, I decided to check my other side gig apps and see what was popping. And so I picked up a couple orders from Instacart. So I just finished the last one, headed home. I just wanted to talk to you guys about the motherhood experience for me. When I found out in my I, when I found out I was having a baby and then found out he was a boy, I was scared. One being is that I thought that we wouldn't be able to relate to each other. And be, and so what I did um, as, you know, each year pass with him, anything he was interested in, I was interested in. He was a big SpongeBob fan, me too. He was a big Spider-Man fan, me too. He got into Baki Guns. He got into, what was the other things called? Beyblades. He got into uh, Nerf Guns. So he got into all of that. And so did I. He wanted to play soccer. Me too. So I say all of that to say that it is so refreshing when the tables are turned. Now my son is at an age it, that he is supportive with the different things that I do. He understands that I have a goal and he becomes my cheerleader. He checks in on me, especially now, like this is the ninth day that I've been doing my 10 day green smoothie cleanse the, by JJ Smith, if you're not familiar with her. I usually do this um, periodically to reset and to rewind because sometimes I definitely was not being the best during this time especially um, since I've been working from home but he just he understands that when I'm doing the, the 10 day green smoothie cleanse that I am not going to be cooking I'm not going to be picking up nothing from any restaurant, so on and so forth. So when I told him that I was going to be doing it, he said, okay, that means I have to cook for myself. And I said, yes. I said, just tell me the list of the things you need from the grocery store. I go to the grocery store, bring it home to you, and that's, that's good to go. So his list was a little bit skim, so I had to beef up his list to make sure he's being fed properly. But the tables turn my son now is my cheerleader especially with my health and walking he like you are you going to go out and walk are you when you're going to go out to walk i haven't heard you doing any sit-ups squats or nothing let's let's do something so i just wanted to stop in and just give my gratitude because not the not last this Sunday, but the Sunday before, my pastor preached about when they found out, and his analogy was about when one of the staff members' um, wife was pregnant, and they he had requested some time or so, I believe, and he said that they were going to find out the gender of the baby, or they were going to find out. And he said, "We really don't know our children." until we start experiencing life with them and as me and my son transition in a different phase in our relationship i'm fortunate that there's a foundation like i said that sometimes it wasn't easy it it has not um but there, it takes a village so i'm always forever grateful for my family that was supportive of me and when I was not able to be present, somebody was. And so, my like I said, that the tables is turned, and I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Every time he says something, it, it encourages me. It amazes me the amount of gratitude and encouragement that he 
provides to me on a daily basis so and I'm at a point in my life where I need that too so yeah so I just wanted to stop in say hey and it's, see you soon because the day is not over for me I just it's more that I need to do and more that I need to show you <laughs> okay welcome back welcome back so I need to create a list for groceries for the upcoming week after I finish my 10 day green smoothie cleanse my taste buds and my cravings decrease so what happens is I usually just try to introduce certain foods about um, the following days when I finish it and it helps me identify foods that really have been causing me the acid reflux or any other type of reaction I hadn't seen because I was eating so much of it so when the following week comes that's when I'm going to go back into meal planning and the first full week of fall which is fall is my favorite season of all is next week September 28th so that's when we're going to start with our grocery shopping I am going to still stick to my theme days in the fall, I pull out my crock pot. I make a lot more of those crock pot meals, especially on Sundays and soups. Me and soups become one. I love me some soups during this time. So I know those two things will be one the menu this week. So as stated, by keeping with the theme, we have our meatless Monday, which is the day that I choose for us not to eat meat during our dinner meals so we're going to do a broccoli cheddar soup i've made different variations of this and tried every type of tip that you can and i found a medium to making this for that works for me and my family so we're definitely going to do that now we have our text mix inspired Tuesday, which we're going to do a cheesy beef burrito, and that is definitely a main and side dish in one. But I do find that having little garnishments on the side, little uh, guacamole salads, things like that, is good and makes the meal complete so to say so we're definitely going to do that now we have our wrap wednesday and and of course that's like the hump day so i'm going to stick to making my sandwiches so we're going to do a greek chicken gyro with some tzatziki sauce as well as i have a sweet potato that i need to go ahead and use so i'm actually going to cut them up like really thin using my mandolin put them in the oven and make some chips so that's that will go with the euro on thursday it is the asian inspired day so we're going to do a honey garlic chicken stir fry i'm either going to put that over a bed of rice or quinoa it just depends so I definitely one thing that I want to note is that because my son looks at this is determine what we're going to eat I always want to make sure it is legible so that's what I'm doing just making sure you can see so you know what to expect so when Friday is you know my free Friday and I'm going to go for a some beer battered fish and some onion rings so yeah so I think that will be something that we haven't had in a while and it's really very easy easy because either i'm going to pick it up or i am going to well i'm going to pick it up either way but either i'm going to pick it up from the grocery store or restaurant i determine friday is excuse me saturday is leftovers of course we don't cook on that day go to the refrigerator so on sunday is i'm pulling out the crock pot and i'm going to do a mississippi pot roast and i'm going to put that over some mashed potatoes and we'll be good to go in regards to that so let me go ahead and look at the recipes and see what ingredients is included and what i need 
in regards to those. So we're back. I made my list of what I'll be needing for the meals. So what I'm going to do now is just look through my fridge and my cabinets and see what I already have and what I need. Okay. So that's what you'll be seeing me going back and forth, checking off things. that I need for the household as well as my son is hosting a dinner on Friday so I put down a fettuccine then I thought uh-uh nope 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 how I get roped into this I don't know how he gonna use his own money it's not gonna be used out of our grocery budget to host anybody because I like I said that no it's not gonna happen so let's keep going let's fill out everything that we need so far for each meal for the broccoli cheddar soup, I need the broccoli, carrots, shredded. Of course, I need butter, and I actually need to refill my, refill my butter stock. So I need to get two of those. We need veggie or chicken stock for the soup. I like to use in my soup heavy cream and extra sharp cheddar. It makes the dish rich so i love it so i'm gonna use it now for the cheesy beef burritos we're gonna of course need our ground beef when i choose ground beef i choose the lean cut grass fed it helps with our digestive system i am not going to make refried beans i'm actually just going to purchase refried beans instead so i think um i have a brand that i like so I'm, hopefully they stocked and i can get that i'm going to go ahead and get some frozen corn i need the large bag because i use that often so i like to buy that in a bulk so i'm going to do that of course we need the flour tortillas for the burritos and we just do the large or the burrito style with that is um, the cheddar cheese shredded now, I do have cheese in my refrigerator that I'm going to use, but I need to replace that. So, I, I always put that on my list to make sure I have that. Additionally, what I'm going to do is, is state it for sides. I'm going to do salsa, guacamole, some blue corn chips. Let's do um, red onion. So, just a little bit on the side, like a guacamole salad should say i'm not sure if that's the proper way to say it or not but we're good to go now for the sandwich we definitely gonna need some boneless chicken breast and i buy the family pack because i can use that with multiple meals and it calls for greek seasoning so i'm gonna look into that to make sure what's included because i like to make my own mixes versus them buy it the base of the sauce is Greek yogurt, so I'm going to get that, as well as cucumbers. I need two, one to go in a sandwich and one for the sauce. Deal, I'm going to put that um, as well because I don't know if I'm going to do fresh or I'm going to do dry. We need the flatbread. Um, we already have the red onion. I just need one and feta cheese. Now for the honey garlic chicken stir fry we already have the chicken breast covered we're definitely going to need the chicken broth which we have that covered so we need broccoli we need carrots we need those sliced and peeled so i'm gonna buy those whole then for the beer battered fish and the onion rings like i said i may just pick that up so i'm not going to put that on my list pick uh, either pick it up at the grocery store or pick it up at the a restaurant so for the pot roast i need the chuck roast i'm gonna say three pounds but if it's too big i'm make pick up a smaller one we need the ranch dressing mix we need the au jus mix and we need the peppers to go with that and we'll be covered for the 
Sunday meal. Um, like I said that we do need some household items such as like paper towel for the kitchen and the bathroom, hand soap for the kitchen and the bathroom, and hot sauce we need for the household. And I buy that in bulk, so that's why I put that in my supplies and miscellaneous. So I definitely know that this need to be picked up at my either BJ's, Sam's Club, or Costco. So yeah. So I hope you enjoy this meal plan with me where we created a meal plan for the week as well as the grocery list that we need to buy for those items. If you're a current subscriber, I thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that button for me as well as everyone hit the like button. If you can share this with your family, friends, and coworkers, peace out.